Hey babes, welcome back to another ad reaction. Today is for all my babes. We are looking at an ad from the Fox Tan, and it is the ultimate tan every babe needs. Something tells me that this ad is going to feature a lot of people with naturally bronze skin, like myself. It is also going to feature a lot of product demonstrations, and it also is going to feature before and afters. If I am wrong, I will be shocked. Let's find out. 33 seconds, here we go. We've changed up the tanning game. Ooh. Oh. Fox Tan is absolutely amazing, guys. If you're going on holiday this year, oh, gosh, the audio. Very ah, the audio is hurting my ears. Let's watch this again. This time, now that I know that the audio is peaking like crazy, I will retain some of the function of my ears by turning it down a little bit. The Fox Tan 2.0. I like the uh, little like word art animation of like the letters like sprinkling off. That was fun. Okay, here we go. Okay, time out. Tons and tons of pictures. They all look like Instagram pictures. Your products are the best. I love it. I need this. They did show a girl that was surprisingly fair skin in the beginning. That is a surprise to me. Now all the pictures are from girls who are very tan. It's too fast to even read it. They're cutting super quickly, which I really like. That's a really good strategy. She's pulling down the bikini to show the different kind of tan line. So like I said, a lot of before and afters. Effectively, what is a before and after? All right. Fox tan is absolutely amazing, guys. If you're going on you can't hear what she's saying. It's peaking so bad. The music is too loud. I have no idea what she's saying to me, but it maybe doesn't matter because it's obviously a visually sold product. There's not a whole lot of much else to say about it other than it makes you tan and you don't have to say that. You can kind of just show that. All right, results. Real results. Lots of boomerangs. Apparently that's the thing that the babes like. Get a deep, dark, all natural glow. And it smells amazing. Real users. They did do one thing really well here. They have real girls holding the bottle, showing it, showing the application. That's a big deal. A lot of people overlook that. A lot of people would just be like, let's just get footage of girls that are really tan. That probably would work too, but by showing them with the product, it's just lending a lot of credibility and it's building that brand recall for Fox Tan. It's a good strategy. More boomerangs, girls in bikinis. Oh, this is awesome. I love it when they do this stuff. Tons of user reviews coming in. Could be totally fake, totally contrived. It looks like they're actual screen grabs, so we can trust it. It builds that credibility. Tons of them just flying in. Great strategy. You can use that in just about any product. Really smart strategy. And you can't even read them. It's literally like if you break it down and think about it on like a psychological level, you're not reading any of the reviews. They could all be saying like, this sucks. I hate your product. It's just showing a bunch of reviews. And so you assume like, wow, lots of people love this. I need to have it. Less sun, more tan. Boomerang, boomerang, more boomerang, boomerangs. Oh, split screen boomerangs. You already know that I love split screens. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that split screens work. The boomerang split screen is like the heavy metal version of the split screen. It takes like the split screen and it just dials it up. And it's like, whoa, there's stuff going back and forth and everywhere and my brain can't compute. Split screen, awesome. Boomerang split screen, double awesome. Girls holding the product, user generated content, boomerang split screen. That's some advanced ad chemistry. Four seconds left. Spritz, spritz, boomerang, the fox tan. Did I call it or did I call it? Lots of product heroes, lots of before and afters, lots of really tan people with very, very olive skin. But that ad works because it is just, every girl is using it. All the babes are using it. They show tons of different women with it. They show tons of different reviews sliding in. That is the way that you build credibility around a product with a very cheaply made asset. It's a great ad. It's got 32 million views. I always like to go and just read some of the comments. I have nearly finished both my Elixir and Mist and still no results. Well, let's give them the benefit of the doubt and let's assume that the other 32,000 comments are a little bit better. Sent my payment over a month ago, never received product. Love this stuff. Two hours out in the sun and everyone is asking me what my secret to being so tan already is. I ordered mine two months ago and I still haven't gotten it. I will be totally honest. Here we go. There isn't much of a difference with this stuff. You don't drastically change in skin tone as it claims. I'm not gonna get into the weeds on whether or not this product works. I'm here to react to the ad. And what I will say is that the ad works. Obviously, there was nothing in there. That, I mean, 
by what scientific principle, they don't even say what ingredients it has. They don't talk about it at all because they know they can't. It's probably literally just some baby oil. They can't say anything about what it actually contains and why it actually would make you tanner, but that's not the point. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people have bought this product because they saw all the tan beauty. And if that isn't capitalistic advertising, then I don't know what is. So congratulations, probably snake oil or baby oil in this case, but people will try it because your ad is really good. If you find yourself also in a similar mindset of being praying, capitalistic, opportunistic marketer, then you have found a beautiful ad here to review and you can take lots of lessons from how to do this. I will not say take anything away from that. The ad works and I'm only here to dissect that. It's a good ad. So babes, if you are uh, looking forward to seeing some more content, then drop some comments below with what ads you would like me to react to, babes. I will try to get to it. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time, babes.